In this video, we're going to look at how we can find surface area of a cylinder. So we have the cylinder right here, and um, let's let's just pop that cylinder out and look again at the net that makes up a cylinder. So a cylinder has a top and it has a bottom, which are circles, and then there's the wraparound part of the cylinder, which actually is a rectangle. So remember a cylinder is made up of two circles and a rectangle. So if we're going to find the area of a cylinder, the surface area of a cylinder, and let's let's make this up. So let's say we've got a cylinder. I'm just going to draw draw one here. Um, we would need to know some information about this cylinder. So let's say we know that the radius of this cylinder is uh, 10 centimeters. And we'll say that the height of this cylinder is, mm, let's make this 12 centimeters. So 12 centimeters tall and a radius of 10, just say. Let's write that again so it's a little easier to read. Okay, so radius of 10 centimeters, a height of 12. So if I'm looking at the different parts of this, there would be a top, there would be a bottom, and there would be the wraparound part. To the cylinder. So the top, the bottom, and the wraparound part. Top, bottom, and wraparound. So the top is obviously a circle. Now, we need to learn a new area formula, if we haven't learned this already. To find the area of a circle, it's pi times the radius squared. So pi is a constant, it's approximately 3.14, and the radius of this circle is 10. So that's pi times 10 squared. So going to the calculator, I'm going to enter in pi. So my, my calculator, it's right above this exp, exp button. So I have to use shift to get it. So there's pi. So you should use the pi button instead of 3.14 if you have it on your calculator. So pi times 10 squared. And so I get 314.16. I'm going to round this to the second decimal places. So 3.1, sorry, 314.16. So that would be the area of the top. That's the area of, of the circle on the top. The bottom of this cylinder is also a circle. And pi r squared is our formula. And you should write that down each time. And so this would also be pi times 10 squared. Same shape on the bottom as the top. So 314.16 centimeters squared. So I've now found the area of this. I found the area of this. I just need to find the area of this wraparound piece. So the wraparound piece we now know is a rectangle. So when we're finding the surface area of cylinders, I'm finding the area of two circles and I'm finding the area of a rectangle. And the area of a rectangle is length times width. Now this gets a bit tricky. So how do we find the length and the width of this rectangle? When all we have is 10 centimeters for a radius and 12 centimeters for a height. So let's go back and let's look at this cylinder here. So the height of this cylinder, which we know is 12, actually corresponds to this side of the rectangle. So I'm just going to draw the rectangle down here. So this is the wraparound net. So we know the height of this is 12. That was this measurement. That was how tall this cylinder was. But how do we find the length of this across here? How are we going to find that length? Well, let's take this object again. Let's take this cylinder and let's 
take this wraparound part and make the cylinder back again. So this part of the rectangle is actually the distance around the outside of the circle. Can you see that? So here's the rectangle. This length here is the exact length of the distance around the edge of the circle. Now we have a name for that. The distance around the outside of the circle is called the circumference. So this part of the rectangle is the circumference of the circle. And you can always find the circumference of a circle by going pi times the diameter. So this part here is equal to the distance around the outside of the circle, which we can find by going pi times the diameter. Now we know that the radius is 10, so we know that the distance across this circle is 10 from the center to the edge, right? This distance here is 10. That's the radius. So if I want to find the diameter, which is the distance all the way across the circle, that's obviously going to be 20. It's going to be twice, twice as much. So circumference is pi times 20. That number there will be the length of this rectangle. So the length of the rectangle is going to be pi times 20 because that's the circumference of the circle and then times the width, which is 12. That's the height. So to find the area of the rectangle, which is the wraparound part, that's going to be the circumference times the height. And circumference we now know is pi times the diameter, pi times the diameter times then the height. So pi times 20 times 12. So let's go to the calculator and let's go pi times 20 times 12. Pi times 20 times 12, which is 753.98, 753.98. And so now I can say that the surface area is 753.98 plus, I've got two of these things, so two circles that are each 314.16. So that's a total of 1,382.30, 1382.30 centimeters squared. So this would be the surface area of this cylinder. And really when it comes to finding the surface area of the cylinder, I'm finding the area of the circle on the top, I'm finding the area of the circle on the bottom, and I'm finding the area of the wraparound part, which is a rectangle. Let's look at another example. So let's say we're asked to find the surface area of this cylinder here. So I've got a, I've got a diameter of eight centimeters. See how this line goes all the way across? That must mean that the diameter, the whole way across, is 8 centimeters, and the height of this thing is 5 centimeters. So we know that there's going to be a top to this thing, there's going to be a bottom to this thing, and there's going to be the wraparound part. And we know that the top is a circle, the bottom is a circle, and the wraparound, we remember from our net, is a rectangle. So finding the area of the circle on the top, we can do that by pi r squared. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So that's pi times the radius. Now the diameter is 8, that's all the way across. So the radius will be half of this, half the diameter. So if the diameter is 8, the radius is going to be 4. So that's pi times 4 squared. Let's get that figured out. So pi 
times 4 squared is 50.27, 50.27. And those will be centimeters squared, but we'll worry about the units at the end. The bottom is also a circle, and pi r squared is the formula for the area of a circle. So pi times 4 squared, it will be the same because the area of the circle on the top will be always the same as the area of the circle on the bottom. Now there's the wraparound part. So remember the wraparound part is a rectangle. The rectangle is going to have a height of 5. That's how high the cylinder is. And then this part here is the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of the circle is pi times the diameter. You have to know that. So this length here will be pi times the diameter. So the area of a rectangle is length times width. The length is pi times the diameter, which is 8. And then we have to multiply this by the width, which is 5. So pi times 8 times 5 would be 125.66 and so the total area the total surface area is 50.27 plus another 50.27 plus 125.66 plus the 50.27 times 2 is a total of 226.20, 226.20 centimeters squared. So let's see how we would find the surface area of a cylinder. So to find the surface area of a cylinder, we're first going to find the area of the circle on the top. We're going to find the area of the circle on the bottom, which will always be the same as the area on the top. And then we're going to find the area of the wraparound part. That's the rectangle, the area of the rectangle that wraps around the cylinder. And then we'll add the three areas together and we'll make sure that we don't forget units. And remember when we're surface area, it's units squared. Now the other thing I want you to be aware of is all the formulas you need to know. So formulas you must know. So some of them you'll know already, but you should be able to find the area of a rectangle. And that's length times width. You should be able to find the area of a triangle that's base times height divided by 2. You should be able to find the area of a circle. That's pi times the radius squared. You should know that the circumference that's the distance around the outside of a, cir of a circle and we need that in order to do this wraparound part you should know that the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. And you should also know that the diameter, or the radius, let's say this, we'll use it this way, the radius of a circle is the diameter divided by 2. So the radius is just half of the diameter of the circle. So those are the formulas you must know in order to find the area or surface area of all the different shapes that you're responsible for in this course.